guys, welcome. Today we're going to talk about embroidery on a towel. Um, we're using a bath towel, so one that has a little bit of fluff, a little bit of ply to it. It's a um, black one. And to get started, we're going to get our materials together. Um, there's a couple stabilizers you could use for this. You could use a cutaway, and that's what's most recommended. I like to use a tearaway, and I just use a double layer of it so it's a little thicker, and um, that way I can get rid of everything on the back of the towel. I know it really doesn't matter. People aren't gonna really look at the back as much as the front, but that's what I like to do. And of course, you're gonna need your towel. And you're gonna need a topper for on top of the towel because there is some fly to it. I recommend using the clear. It looks um, like plastic, and it's clear, and it washes away. So this is the kind of topper I'm suggesting for you to use. You're also going to need, of course, embroidery thread, um, your machine, and I put a black bobbin in. I did that because I'm using a black towel, and I want, again, the back, the back of the towel to be nice and clean, so I have a black bobbin in there. Um, we have the design loaded into the machine as well. One thing that people ask a lot is, should I wash the towel first? I don't. Now, if it's gonna be for yourself or if it's gonna be a gift for a friend, go ahead and wash it if you'd like to. There might be some shrinkage with these towels. I really haven't found it ever had a problem um, after a washing that a design ever shrunk or looked funny. It just hasn't happened to me. But you can do that. Um, I would not suggest doing that if you're going to sell your homemade towels on Etsy or some other places because once it's washed, it's considered used. So you might wanna check if you sell it at, at certain uh, online stores, or I'm not sure, maybe even craft fairs, that um, you're not uh, ruining the new on your label for um, selling those items. So design placement. With this hand towel, I wanna place my design right in the middle. I'm using a monogram letter M. I fold the towel in half like this to find the middle, and it is suggested that with a hand towel, you start your design three inches from the bottom. So I know that my design is three inches as well. So I wanna find the halfway point of where I start. So I'm gonna add that three inches and half of my design size, which is 1.5 inches, and I'm gonna go up four and a half inches, and I'm gonna mark it. Um, I put a pin there it's my reminder to put my topper on when I put it on the machine. As soon as I see that pin, I'm like, oh, I can't sew on that. And so I add my topper. Um, but you can use a chalk or any other method that will um, easily come off after you're done with your towel. So I prepared this towel over here and it's all set to embroider. I still have my pin in place here and this is at the halfway mark. So now my pin's in place and that is my reminder to pull that pin out and to add the wash away. So there we have that. You can see here that my design is floated. I prefer the floating method. I like the ability to adjust and put it in exactly the, the spot I want it. You can do that with the hooping too. You would want to hoop your stabilizer, then you'd want to hoop your towel in there with it, and um, then put the, you can float this, as great just to float, even with your hooping your towel. This method is just so much easier for me and so much quicker, so I choose to do it that way. Um, then the optional knockdown stitches. Let's talk a little bit about knockdown stitches. And Brilliance Enthusiast has the ability for you to make knockdown stitches, and I'm sure there's other, um, uh, other programs that do that as well. And there's other methods of making a knockdown stitch. A knockdown stitch is basically just something that's going to hold the ply or the towel down. And our stabilizer is going to do that same thing as well. But I like on a bathroom towel to put a little bit of knockdown stitches. It just makes that design pop so much better. And because I'm using a black towel, I'm going to match my knockdown stitches and I'm going to make that black as well because that's going to not pop. I don't want the background to pop. I want the monogram M to pop, uh, if that makes sense. 
So that's, that's how we have the knockdown stitch. Now you don't have to put a knockdown stitch. You could just do the nice monograms. And a lot of times I just do a monogram in depending on the thickness of the towel as well. These are quite thick actually. So when it comes to a needle, I'm really not good at changing my needle. I change my needles when they break. So you're gonna to wanna to do what I say and not what I do. Um, but it's nice to have a nice sharp needle and a newer needle for the towels. There's, there's gonna be some wear on your needles with this. So at this point, we're gonna start our stitching. And I have my machine set on 600 because I was doing some freestanding lace, but I'm gonna bring that all the way up to 1,000. It's not a very detailed design. It's not a super delicate design, so I'm gonna let it roar. And as I push the start button here, I'm gonna leave you for a few minutes, and we'll come back and take a peek at it when we have that done. All right, here we have the finished towel. And I removed it from the hoop. Now on the back we have, remember I said that I like to use the tearaway. We have the stabilizer, mine's the tearaway. I like to remove one layer of this at a time. You can see the back too, I talked about how I like for it to match into the towel a little better. You're still gonna see some of this cutaway, or this tearaway, but you can see that the black thread, I, I just like the look a little bit better. You can see just a itty bitty of that gold color I used for the monogram M that came through and that's totally normal. Now we bring it to the front side and we have the um, wash away stabilizer and the knockdown. So we're going to feel what we can of this off and then we can use a wet paper towel and press it down with a warm iron for a second or we can wash it away and let it dry. Um, I'm going to get rid of the stabilizer and wash it away a little bit, let it dry, and I am going to give you a picture of how that looks when we're completely done. But this gives you a good idea. And again, we were three inches from the bottom. Um, with a washcloth, I believe you are two inches. Let me check to verify that for you. I have that information here. And um, it says that, yeah, two inches from the bottom of the washcloth and three inches for the um, hand towel. So, and then um, with a bath towel, you're gonna to wanna to be four inches from the bottom. And that's just your standard. You can do what looks good to you. That's a standard though, is two inches, three inches, four inches. Um, again, I'm going to clean this up a little better and give you a little look at it. 